Hi everyone, Carol here. Welcome to my channel Oak House Journals. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. It's a lovely sunny day here in the uh, UK. Probably one of the last sunny days we're going to get before um, the autumnal weather hits us, but it is glorious today. Um, at the end of the last video I gave a quick uh, sneak peek of three journals that I intended to make videos of um, but since then um, one of the journals has sold. A very lovely lady bought the fabric covered fern journal that I made just based on the sneak peek and the pictures of that journal in my Etsy shop. Um, because it takes me so long to get to grips with uh, doing videos I didn't want her to have to wait um, whilst I did a video before sending it off so um, sorry I'm not going to be doing a, a flip through of that journal maybe um, she will when it arrives in the uh, USA but this is the other fern journal um, that I did a sneak peek of at the end of the last video um, and I'm going to do a very quick flick through of it today um, but just quickly before I do, can I just say a massive, massive thank you to both Jackie Chimes and Wendy for all the uh, encouragement and support that uh, they've given me since uh, the last video. And both Jackie and Wendy, um, very lovely ladies, have bought journals from me since um, that last video. Um, can I also say a massive thank you to 10 other ladies who have also bought um, uh, journals from me since that last uh, last video. So thank you so much to uh, those ladies. And also um, thank you so much to each and every one of you that has um, said such lovely comments and kind words. Um, your encouragement and support has been amazing and I feel very humbled by it. Um, you've all been very kind and generous and I really can't thank you enough for, uh, for uh, the comments that I've received. So thank you to each and every one of you. Okay, um, on with the video now. Um, I hate it when people sit here and spout on for hours and I'm sat there waiting, thinking, just open the book, open the book, start the video so um, or start the flip through. So I'm going to do that now um, and I'm going to try my very best not to fluff my words. So this um, is the original book that I gutted and I made or I used um, for both making this journal and the swap that I did for Jackie Chimes and the fern um, fabric covered one that has sold. This little one um, measures um, four and three quarters wide by six and a quarter high. So that's 11.5 centimetres by 16 centimetres. And it has a one inch spine, um, which is 2.5 centimetres. Um, it's got four signatures inside, I don't know if you can see that, four signatures in, inside and it's a hollow um, hollow spine, I think they're called hollow back spine and I've just put in some little um, signature guards top and bottom. Um, this is, as you can see, the original book. Um, I, when I saw it I just fell in love with it, I just love the, the cover. Um, it is gold but it's all um, embossed and de-embossed um, and I just love the size. I like little books um, and I fell in love with this. I love the rounded corners. So there is some um, distressing um, on the cover, um, just along the top here, a little bit of wear and at the bottom. But otherwise, she was absolutely in perfect, perfect condition, as you can see a little bit there and a couple of scratches here. Um, gorgeous green colour and it's almost like a textured finish on the back. Sorry, I'm picking up a shadow in, in here. Um, so I hope you can pick that up and see it. So beautiful, beautiful um, spine detail. So going into the journal, she's about 80, 90 odd pages. Um, I've used a lot of the original book plates in all three journals and particularly in this one. Um, and this is the um, first page of the original book that I've turned into a pocket 
and there's just a little whoo I'm out of screen sorry about that um, there's a little tag note journaling card that I've made and everything is stitched and tea dyed as usual it's a little bit of washi at the bottom and a little bit of um, lace down the side there um, a little bit of collaging here with some lace um, masking paper um, some more tea stain paper um, here's that stamping up stamp again that I've white embossed heat embossed on the um, brown paper um, it's painters masking paper so this is double thickness that I've stitched round uh, you'll probably recognize these these are um, Nick the booksmith's digi digi kit for fern um, her fern digi kit which I absolutely love so I've used it quite quite a lot um, a little bit of detail at the top there some masking um, paper just to match and some stitching to match there I tend to quite do that um, quite like to do that a lot because I I feel it just adds a little bit of balance to um, my pages so if I've got say book page here then I try and uh, include a little bit on the opposite side of the page just to try and balance it out so I've made a tuck spot here this is some old um, vintage journal paper that was uh, lined it was an old notebook um, I haven't had to tea dye it at all it's this gorgeous color um, little tag there with um, a little bit of layering some lace just plain on the back inked and stitched all round this was some vintage lace from a, uh, a lace collar that I chopped up and used more digi kit this is a tracing paper pocket love the sound of that and again another one of the original book plates with a little bit of sari silk at the top this is um, actually a whale tail um, tab punch but what I do with my whale tails if I want a straight straight edge along the bottom I just chopped off the um, the curved edge and you've got then an option of either a whale tail curved bottom or this straight edge um, so I tend to mix and match both using the same punch coffee um, sorry tea stained paper on the back uh, for journaling here's the original another original book plate in there stitched and inked and I've backed it with some of the original um, book page masking paper again more collaging this was a, a little bit of um, paper from Artie May's uh, digi kit a little bit of lace there and then a mixture of Artie May's digi kit and some brown masking paper you'll recognize that that's Tim Holtz's um, vellum a little bit of lace and <laughs> I love doing these it works so well in the last journal that I decided I wanted to include it in here and do a little lace snippet and at the bottom here this is some of my eco own eco dyed um, uh, linen that I've included so that's vintage lace on there and a little coilless uh, safety pin with some seed beads over the page this is a tiny little um, piano roll paper pocket and I've just put in here a little couple of flash cards just tuck them in there and I've edged it with some lace and then these are a couple of little pearl buttons that I've used for my closure um, a little glassine faux glassine pocket with some collaging there's another little flashcard in there. Fika, a Swedish noun, a moment to slow down and appreciate the good things in life. Coffee with friends. That lives in there. Coiled paper clip with some sari, sari silk just tied to the end. More ranger paper or Tim Holtz vellum. Stitching around the top of the pages, the stitching on most pages. I've made a little um, tuck spot here with faux Denison labels, Tracy Fox, and some collaging with some paper. And then this is a little uh, 
pocket that I made out of some craft paper just covered it over and a couple more flashcards in there more collaging on the back and some undyed sari silk this is obviously some lace forming a tuck spot and obviously an image from the book which I've mounted and just tucked in there the original one of the original plates again lace stitched down the side of this vellum pocket another plate vintage plate for journaling on and I've put some lace along the um, edge of this vellum pocket tea stained paper more of Nick the Booksmith's um, quotes lace snippet here with Tim Holtz paper tag that I've just clipped in with a safety pin love that image oh, uh, again Nick the Booksmith's Digi and I've just put a bit of lace at the bottom this is some more of my eco dyed my own eco dyed um, linen and I've white embossed that stamp on it again and just popped it in there I quite liked how the greys went together here and the white with the um, white of the embossing so just a little tag and a coilless coiled paper clip there we go there we go there's a few um, loose threads that I've left I gen generally sorry I was gonna say genuinely um, I generally don't um, really like these <laughs> So I struggle to leave them. So I have left one or two um, in my effort not to be uh, quite so OCD. More of the brown masking paper. A um, bit of edging here with um, some of the original book page. Brown masking paper and some uh, zigzag stitching down the spine. A little bit of um, collaging here. If I hold that up, see if I can get that out of that shadow. I'm sorry about that. Um, there's just some lace tucked away there a bit of ranger paper uh, a bit of vintage book paper another one of the plates with some lace down the side of the page this time I just felt it softened it up a little bit and that's the end of the first signature and the start of the second signature and I just thought these plates were just so lovely and it's quite a soft um, neutral coloured journal um, that I decided I quite like leaving them in to give a bit of uh, colour to the journal so what I've done is I've taken two of the plates and I've created a, a pocket here and there's some um, black and white images on the back of these plates so that's what you're probably picking up just inside that envelope or that big pocket there's nothing in there um, this is a uh, wage slip um, or wage um, envelope that I've just created uh, made into a pocket and I've tucked a tag in there and this is again a fern that has come out of my garden that I've dried and put a few um, Tim Holtz rub-ons, put a little tag in there and more collaging with a little bit of lace and washi and some fussy cutting. A bit more there on the flap of the envelope. This is an old vintage receipt. Love these um, receipts out of this receipt book that I've got. Um, moving on, another book plate, another pocket or tuck spot there. And then here, this is a little tiny vintage um, French vocabulary book that I've got. And I've created a, a pocket and put some lace across the bottom. And then I've put inside it some Italian, um, I think it was Italian, yeah, it's Italian um, vocabulary pages vintage pages so that just tucks in in there a little bit of washy reinforcement down there it didn't need it but I just wanted to pick up the greens in those pages um, another tag with another one of my coiled paper clips a few um, little bit of undyed sari silk there a bit of lace and then I put some undyed sari silk behind that eyelet
another pocket here this time made with um, Tim Holtz vellum and a little tiny flower there another journaling card this has just got a bit tucked up there there we go and these are all the original book pages that I used and then this is a vellum pocket with a bit of sari silk and there's a magnet there that uh, just holds it closed and inside is a little bit more of that French vocab, um, vintage vocab paper. Love the sound. <laughs> I'm a bit of a saddo. I love the sound of magnets closing. Anyway, um, I've printed on some vellum and I've stitched it onto an original book page. More masking paper as a journaling spot with some lace at the bottom. And then another one of those pockets using that um, French English vocab. And this time I've put in some shorthand, vintage shorthand um, pages from a lovely little book that, uh, that I've got. So there's a few of those tucked away inside there. And on the back, I've printed on some vellum and popped that, um, stitched that on the back. So there is actually another pocket here, if you can see where I've stuck my finger in, and then another one here that's actually got the shorthand pages in. So you could put something behind this um, vellum, printed vellum, but I actually quite like it just left as it is. Um, more Nick, the booksmith, uh, digi page. That's a quote by John Muir there. Brown masking paper, paper um, printer's masking paper. A little bit of lace and sari silk at the top of the top of the page there. Sorry, I'm out of focus there or out of view. Sorry about that. Um, this is the back of the receipt. So I folded it over and made a tag using a vintage book plate and it's backed with some of the original book pages so that just goes in there a little bit of lace there and then this is a secret journaling spot so there is a um, mother of pearl button that unravels holds it shut and then this is magnetized here little um, flash card with a little bit of um, fussy cutting on and then this comes down and then this lifts up to reveal a little private journaling spot and I've lined it with some tea stained paper and this um, again was some of Nick the Booksmith's digi kit and again that lovely sound and I've just tucked in that little fern flash card and then these just 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 wrap around the button to form the uh, the closure there we go um, here is a little bit of layering some original book page sari silk a little bit of lace that I've chopped up faux denison label these are one of Tracy Fox's and then a little bit of collage in there and then we're at the back of the book so a little bit of washi for no other purpose other than decoration to pick up the green there and again some lace down the um, down the spine there just for decoration so that's the little book um, I was really pleased how she how she came out um, as I say she's only tiny she's only uh, four and three quarters um, wide by uh, six and a quarter high but her cover is just just amazing if I just hold it up there to the light I just love it. <laughs> I've had it now for quite a while as I've been working on it and I just, just something about it. I just love the colour and I love the texture. Beautiful, really is. And in such good condition because um, she was a, a very old book. Um, but she's obviously been lovingly looked after. Um and cared for so that's that's my journal this is my second video of um, 
uh, a journal flip through. So I hope I haven't said uh, too many times and I hope I haven't uh, fluffed my words too many times. Thank you so much everyone for bearing with me and I hope you enjoyed the journal um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Give me a couple of days and I'll upload um, my next video which is of the Quercus, the oak journal filled with eco-dyed um, paper of oak leaves. Bye for now everybody and thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.